Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now going to answer questions from this paper, which is the Pure Mathematics P2 International A Level at Excel June 2022 exam. Um, I'm going to go through the questions one by one, and then I'm going to save the separate questions in separate videos, um, and I will place them in two playlists. The playlist, um, one of them will be for this particular paper, and the other one will be from the topic that the particular question is from. Um, I'm also not a talking mark scheme. I'm not just going to read through the mark scheme and write what's in the mark scheme. I'm going to actually try to explain some questions in a bit of detail sometimes, depending on the types of questions I have been asked or the certain issues that I have had to deal with with my students where I feel they need a bit more explanation in certain areas, including those people who ask and comment in the comment section of the channel. So I'm not here just to read through the mark scheme. If that's what you're looking for, this is not what this is not for you. Um, this is for those people who want some sort of explanation as well as just seeing the answer to the questions. All right, so I'm going to start question number one. Question number one from this paper is about binomial expansion of this um, expression here, 2 plus 3 over 8x to the power of 10. So we got to find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of this binomial here. And we've got to give each coefficient as an integer. All right, so that gives us an idea that the coefficients will be integers. And if they're not, there's something that we've done wrong. Now, for P2, very simple. We have a, a button on the calculator that we can use, which will really help us. Okay, so this calculator button here, and this calculator here um, is the class whiz, and you have this button, which is called the NCR button. Now, the NCR button is a button that will help us with finding the coefficients that we need in our expansion. This is a button that can be used in P2 binomial expansion, very useful and easy for us. So I'm just going to basically set this up and we'll go through how to do it. So basically now, when we want to find the first four terms, I always like to start off in the following way. I just make three kind of brackets like this. Okay, the first bracket is for the main coefficient, the second back bracket is for the, the first term in the expansion, and then you have the second term in this bracket, I write in this third bracket here. All right, now we want to go in ascending powers of x, so I look to see where the x is, and I always start that with a zero, okay? And this is, your, this is for your NCR button, basically. Now, on the top of this, always you start off with writing the highest power, which is 10, which also goes on this bracket over here, and this, you have a zero over there. These two numbers will always add up to this top number, okay? These two numbers will always add up to that top number here. So now, I'm just going to copy this another time, four times altogether because I have four terms, and another time, I like to make this nice and systematic and it makes it very easy, and a fourth time. So, because there's four terms, these represent those four terms. So this, this always stays as 10, okay, the top number is always 10, and this increases by one each time. Okay, and these stay as they are, 2, 2, 2, 3 over 8x, 3 over 8x, and 3 over 8x. If there was a negative, if there was a minus here, I'd write minus 3 over 8x, but it's positive, so there's no problem. And then basically, these increase by 1. They're the, that's the ascending terms, the ascending powers of x. Okay, that's what it says in ascending powers of x. If the x term was in this bracket, then I would start this with 0 and make it ascending. And these ascend and these descend. So this goes from 10, 9, 8, 7. As I said, these two powers will always add up to give you this power. 8 plus 2 is 10, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 0 is 10, and so on. And there we have set it up. Now all we need to do is to use our NCR button in the calculator. So we have 10C0, now I know that's going to equal 1. I know 10C0 is 1, but I'll just show you how to use the button. So I'll put 10, I'll press Shift, and then this division sign to get the NCR button. 
not the NPR button, not the NCR button. So C should appear there. 10C0 is going to be 1, as I told you. That's going to be 1 times 2 to the power of 10. 2 to the power of 10. So that's going to give us 1024. And anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So that's going to give you just 1024. Oops. Let's write that down properly. 1024. That's the first term of this okay, um, expansion. Now, what you could do from here, you don't have to write all of this down. You could just put this in your calculator in one go. So you could put, for example, 10 C1, okay, we've got to 1 now, multiplied by 2 to the power of 9, 2 to the power of 9, and then multiplied by, without the x, you can just put 3 over, 3 over 8, 3 over 8, Okay, you can put, if you want, to the power of 1, just so that we can just change it as we go along. So this is 10c1 times 2 to the power of 9 times 3 over 8 to the power of 1. Now, we've got an x there, so that's going to be x to the power of 1. All right, it'll be x. So that will give you your, your coefficient straight away, which is 1,920. 1,920, and that's going to be x term. And for this, you can just go back to your calculator and simply just... Um, change the value. So you're going to have, this is going to be to the power of 2 now. It's power of 2. This is going to be to the power of 8. Let's go to the 9 and change it to an 8. And this is now going to be 10C2. So you can change that 1 for a 2. Whoops. What happened there? I put an X for some. 10C1 times 2 to the 10C2 now. Just Delete 2, sorry, 10C2, 2 to the power of 8, 3 over 8 squared. Now that's going to be the x squared term, because that x is going to be squared. That's going to give you 1,620 x squared. And then finally, we're going to have this term here. So we just go and change this to a 3. So change that for a 3. And change that for a 7. And change that for a 3 as well. Okay, and then that gives us 810, this will be x cubed, 810x cubed. So we end up with our answer, um, which is, let's write it down here, you've got 1,024 plus 1,920x plus 1,620x squared plus 810x cubed. Okay, and that's as far as we go. The first four terms in this expansion, very easy and simply done using the NCR button. Okay, so you could, you know, I've, I've written down the steps of the first one, and the rest of them, you can just stick that in your calculator and write down these terms, and that's perfectly fine. And you got your answer. Okay, so there's the answer to question number one from this P2 June 2022 International A-Level Excel paper. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from P, uh, this is from P2, sorry, from the P2 um, binomial expansion can be found in the playlist over here. So this is P2 June 2022. You can find other questions in that playlist. The P2 um, binomial expansion can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.